Violent crime is still a problem in Berlin, but the Nazi propaganda machine, headed by Joseph Goebbels, wants to protect the image of a pure, idyllic Germany. Goebbels ensures that any news of the murders is kept out of the press. Detective Lutka is forced to conduct the investigation in secret. He decides to review the case of Gerda Ditter, a woman who was murdered in the Garden Colony on October 4th, 1940. Gertrude Ditter lived in the Garden Colony uh, with her two children in a wooden shack. Her husband was in the army, so he was away most of the time. And uh, she was found one morning killed by a knife. Her husband, who was stationed in military barracks near the city, was interrogated soon after the body was discovered. But he was let go because he was able to prove that he'd been in the barracks during the time of the attack. With no obvious connection between the two garden colony attacks, Lutke expands his search. A tenacious detective, he's taking an analytical approach to solving the crime. He's checked all the older files about murder attempts, about sexual crime attempts and sexual crimes, and they made a map. And when they marked the crime scenes, they found out that the proximity to the Aspen tracks and to the railway station Rummelsburg, that's a stay connecting element. What seemed like random crimes in a bad neighborhood now appears to have a pattern. So next, Ludka looks at the method of attack and realizes that most of the victims have been hit on the head. So he sends his detectives to search the second-class carriage where Elizabeth Bendorf has been attacked, and they find a crucial piece of evidence. Police discovered the length of telephone cabling, which is a, a length of probably about 18 inches of lead cable, which was used to hit her over the head. It would have been very effective as a weapon. They found a serial number on the lead cable, and it showed that it had been installed at the Rummelsburg railway station. For police, this was another piece of evidence clearly connecting the crimes to the Rummelsburg area. Lutka starts to believe that the Espan killings and the Garden Colony killings have been carried out by the same person. That a serial killer is stalking Berlin. 